Hi, this is 1.4 continued, and we have 1.4, and we want to go ahead and solve equations and solve a trig equation. So if I look at A, I have cosecant of x is equal to negative 2 over the square root of 3. If you remember, cosecant is the same thing as 1 over the sine. So if I reciprocate this, this would be sine of x is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. Where does that occur? Well, if we remember our unit circle, the sine is going to be negative in the first quad I'm sorry, the fourth quadrant and the third quadrant. And the y-coordinate here is going to be longer than the x-coordinate. And so this would be negative square root of 3 over 2, negative square root of 3 over 2. Where does this occur then? Well, with our unit circle, this angle measurement is going to be 4 pi over 3. And then I also have this angle measurement, which would be my 5 pi over 3. So both those places would be a solution to this cosecant. Part B, cotangent of theta is equal to square root of 3. You can change this into tangent as well if you wish. So this would be 1 over the square root of 3. Where do I get the 1 over square root of 3 from? I always think, well, it's going for a y-coordinate of 1 half and an x-coordinate of square root of 3 over 2. This is your y, this is your x. And so if I have to figure out where this is, positive would be in the first quadrant. Positive y being 1 half would be there. Then also positive tangent would be in the third quadrant because it'd be a negative divided by a negative. And so then my angle measurements that are associated with that, that one went right there would be 7 pi over 6. So one of my solutions for theta would be 7 pi over 6. Then my other one would be this one right here, which would be pi over 6. I probably should have written those in reverse order, but that's quite okay. Now if I have to solve something, you solve it just like an algebra problem and think of this as a chunk squared, so I'm going to have cosine squared theta is equal to one half. Now if I take, we okay, I lost this for a second, but I get cosine theta equals zero, cosine theta equal one, cosine of theta is equal to one at zero, and cosine of theta is equal to zero at these two values right here. So this would be my solution. So that's how we can solve some of these trig equations. That should be review for you. I hope this helps you. Thank you. Bye.